Well, this is it. I mean, we're holding this objective up here, but I'm not entirely sure if it's worthwhile holding, frankly. We'll see. The enemy is likely to march down this road here, perhaps, but I'm not too sure about that. We'll speed things up and actually see how things go then. Uh, it looks like... Uh, where the hell are they going? Are they turning around now? I don't know what they're doing. Not sure. Oh, they're going around here. Okay, that makes more sense now. <sighs> okay. Apparently they've got all this moved down that way. We'll see about that. It's good to be able to actually build the parapets, though. It looks like they take a long time to do them. Right, keep doing it. Don't stop. I suppose these fellows will deploy in time. Yeah, keep building that. <laughs> Please don't stop. Yeah, that might be a good idea, though. Make them an independent unit. Right, allow initiative, detach. We'll have it detached then, so I imagine an order will be sent out there for them to manage. Um, I might have these fellows attached as well, but actually. Right. Yeah, we'll have the division detached, and then at least I can actually have Jackson move potentially closer to the field here. Even having a division there would be worthwhile. I need, I need Stonewall somewhat nearby, so we can actually have him um, able to influence things ideally. Because right now we're actually suffering. I think this is where we need to learn how to actually command things properly. So right now they're considered cut off, I think. Which is obviously not great. Yeah, unit is cut off. So this is why we need him out there, and I don't know why he's, uh, he's marching. Hmm... movement. See, so if I turn off allow initiative. Yeah, this is it. We're trying to figure out how we can actually have the uh, have Mr. Jackson move here. I shift not to that position there, but I need him really in like this sort of area here, really. Right. What I'm going to do then is pause the game. I mean, that's the problem, it's going to move out like that. But what I'm going to do is actually have that order go through, and then what I'll do is tell them to stay in position. It's a little bit daft, there's got to be some sort of way to have this um, worked out. Because this, this can't be right, we can't be doing it in the right way. One would imagine anyway. That cannon really freaking loves to be down there. Hmm. Right, I have them there. I don't know. It's a difficult position to choose where these uh, fellows should be, really. Hmm. Not too sure. I've not seen anything on the tooltips to give us much to work with right now. Right, so tell them all that stop. I think that's pretty much them all. Besides you. Right. Right, we'll go with that then. I imagine there's probably like a way to do this. I haven't played any of the tutorials in fairness, so it's probably... Well, it is my own fault. <laughs> right, let's see. Right, at least Jackson's moving up. That's at least something we can work with. Johnson's moving there. I don't think he's actually under the command anymore. But still that chain link, so we'll see. Stop trying to do things. Ah. 
What happened to fight Jackson? <laughs> God damn it, Jackson. Okay. Maybe he's trying to use his initiative. That might be why. No. Hmm. Okay, we should be able to recover it soon enough anyway. Right, maybe we have them actually moved down here to this position. It's hard to tell really what's... Uh... Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, this is it. The game's still in development, so this is things I would like to see change. Okay, the cover is moving there, which is not too bad, I guess. I really do not want my cannon over here on the wrong side of the river, however. That is quite the no-no. They'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm sure. Right, so it looks like these positions are deployed now. Yeah, it looks like it. Still not seeing any sign of the enemy as of yet. I'm not particularly happy about how things have gone though in terms of deployment. This has not gone well. But I think this is it. We need to learn how to actually get Jackson to where he needs to be. He's moving up though, so at least that's something. And he's going to be moving to like round about that position there. So ideally he'll just stand remotely nearby. And that's all I need. Maybe. It'd be weird, though. It can't work like that. So it'd be so strange if you had to go to such lengths to actually be able to do that. So I'm definitely doing something wrong here. I just need to figure out what it is and how we can actually fix it. Okay. Well, speeding things up anyway. I don't know why the cannon's not uh, deployed here. Bombardment. Counter-bombardment. I'm sure we'll see soon enough. We do have our cavalry moving down here. Warrington Turnpike. Have they spotted an enemy unit? No, is that simply the end of their orders then? Okay, that looks to be simply the end of their orders. Move there then, I guess. Right, Johnson's moving there. Hmm. What I'll do then is construct that bear. Then we'll just get something. Oh, right, there we go. We can actually see men now working on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> it looked like we had something go wrong earlier on then, because we weren't seeing those sort of animations. Single line, please. There we go. Yeah, right, there we go. We finally got uh, Jackson in position, so we're actually looking good now. That's great. So we do have that now. Let's go ahead and try and figure out where the enemy is, perhaps, then. That's going to be rather important to find out, frankly. Uh, let's see. Right now, we're not seeing that much, are we? That's, uh, this is where the enemy is. We know that. Let's see if I can potentially advance. Uh, we'll head to the top of this hill. And then at least we might be able to use that to actually uh, view the enemy from. If we could actually figure out where the enemy is and where they're marching and what strength they're marching, we can actually deploy to meet them, which is nice. Uh, they could be. So if we try to give them a reason to march forward, try to... Um... Oh, 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 we see the enemy. Right, okay, we see the enemy here. Right, okay, so we do see a brigade then finally marching. Um, oh god, guys, move. Just turn. <laughs> Please. Right, turn that way. Good, 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 good. Okay. Right. These fellows, I think, might be about done there. So this is it. We do have to make quick decisions here. We need to make quick decisions as to what we wish to do here. The fact that the enemy... The, yes, the Union's there in pretty considerable strength. And, okay, uh, they need to try and make... 
good there stand. I'm going to have the brigade sent to join them if I can. And then what I'll do is have it actually shift. Okay. Um, times of the essence. Have them move out. What we'll do then is shift this brigade here to take up its position. But I don't think we're going to see Lewis's Ford actually come under any sort of uh, uh, issues. So what I'm going to do then is actually have these fellows, I think, uh, moved. Well, let's see. I'll have them positioned here if I can. Now, cannon's not in the right position right now, so I'm going to have the cannon move. This is the Ordnance Rifles. I'm going to have the Flying Cannon actually shifted the 12-pounder Napoleons. And I can actually have them shifted out this way. And ideally in a position to actually engage there. Uh, make sure your boys of the Ford are up against the breastworks. They should be. Um, or not. Let's see. Right. Freaking occupy you <laughs> dummies. They'll figure it out. And we do see here the enemy marching in force. We've seen two freaking brigades, which is a lot of enemy units there. Right, okay. But they're deployed like that. Let's figure out where the enemy's cannon is. So let's go over here then and see what we can find in the rear. If we can find the enemy's cannon, I'd be very, very happy there. Right, they're moving to redeploy. I could potentially take even an additional reserve there. I mean, this is it. We're going to be quite quick in how we deploy here. Is it worthwhile even holding this position? No, not really, because we don't gain anything from this position here. So I think what we'll do then is we actually move our position over this way. And what I'm going to do then is actually have our uh, brigade, I think, march forward. And then we can potentially move to this position here. We do have that. We know the enemy is in position there. So what I'm going to do then is actually have these units marched up. I'm going to have this brigade moved up. I think what we need to do then is actually take the uh, the lesson here and accept the fact that the, the battle isn't going to be orientated this way. It's going to be orientated this way, it seems. And we'll be engaging here shortly. Right, there's quite a lot of enemy units over here. It looks like they'll be detached and skirmishers shortly. Uh, they'll be moving up to position here against the parapet. I need to get uh, support here ASAP. I do have a second brigade here, so at least we actually do have that. We are seeing another third brigade there. I need cannon. Cannon, 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 cannon right now. Absolutely right now. Get those guns moving out there. If I can get the cannon upon them, we can potentially turn this into a bit of a bloodbath there. The cavalry will be moving shortly. I might be able to flank them perhaps. We'll see. The enemy has not yet engaged, which is good news. I might actually wish to uh, have a unit moved over here, actually. I have you right now. That's Jackson, actually. So the good news is they're actually in uh, position. I do have Johnson. Where is... So that's Burke moving there. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually have Burke moved up to this position here to actually control Ball's Ford. By shifting up over here, we actually do control Lewis's Ford vent, so we need to actually move them up, move them to position here, and then go for that. Cavalry from the Ashbury Brigade should actually locate where the rest of the enemy is. Uh, chew guns, a horse guns, so might be work, might be worth quick time, and potentially so. Oh, Chu, why do you do this to me, my man? Right, get your ass in gear. Kin, double time. Go, 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 go. Same for these fellows here. Double time if you can. Quick, quick, quick. Alright, move in here, that's good. Time is literally of the essence. Uh, right, but in cover now, let's go ahead and actually, let's see. If I can, I'm going to try and build the parapet. Build, 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 build. Dig for victory, men. Yeah, in cover, excellent. Cannon be excellent. I need to control this for the time being. I also do have it as a potential reserve there. Which is important. Right, cannons moving now. Ho! We go. Carnage! Alright. Jump the parapet. <laughs> okay. Right, at least we are working on the parapet here. That's good news. Men in position here then. What I could do then is potentially establish. Just freaking build it. Okay, they're performing as they should now. Right, cavalry's moving out that way. 
Right, the enemy's moving up that cannon here. Okay. That's not good, so the attack's going to begin shortly. Whoa. It looks like they're moving to deploy properly. Right, the enemy's moving in now. Okay. Uh, cannon is not quite in position. Get them here. Please move. Okay. Need to move quick. Right, we need to move to cut their lines if we can. Right, cavalry could be used potentially to attack the ca uh, cannon here, which would be very, go uh, very good. Uh, so the battle is about to begin. The battle is going to begin in any second now. That is not quite particularly covered, but I suppose it counts. Opening fire upon the uh, Union. Okay, that's good. They're taking quite a lot of fire here from two units. Ideally, that does work. Cannon is needed right now, though. Um, okay, I'm not feeling tremendous about having no reserves here, but this is it. This is a bit of a problem. I could potentially have a third one moved here to potentially help us out. The Right, maybe we actually move to a position here. If we can actually move into the actual forest and potentially uh, threaten their flank there. Just start shooting indeed. Right, cannon moving up. That cannon, where's that cannon? Cannon. Chew. Chew, man. <laughs> what you doing? I mean, I, I, I appreciate it, but man. Not right now. Not like this. Okay, it looks like they're still in cover here. Uh, Milroy's brigade is taking 127 casualties. I don't like the fact that we're so closely uh, engaged here. That's not good. Right, they're going to march over this way. If I could actually get into position to flank the enemy, that'd be quite good. But I need to be able to do it from a position of strength. Maybe I should have had them brought this way, but we'll see here. How are you doing there? How are you doing there, Fortuna? It's good to have you, my man. Uh, well, we've uh, advanced a little bit further on from there. Right, let's have the enemy brought under fire. The sooner the better, really, but at least we have a cannon in position. Uh, I think what we need to do is try and get the men marching ASAP here. Okay, they're marching. What I could do is actually have them moved over this way. Uh, maybe we actually have them moved out this way entirely. Mm, I'm going to cancel that order. Blame that order. We do have a cannon. We have a cavalry charging. Oh, 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 who's this? Who's this? This is the enemy commander, it seems. Ha! Huh! Can we kill him? Right, let's see. Uh, cavalry. Uh, don't think I can attack them. Doesn't look like I can actually attack the commander directly, it seems. I can potentially attempt to hit the guns. Uh, let's go for that, but if we can. Right, okay, we're looking decent so far, but we are actually being charged. That's really not great for me, because I'm not... Super happy about that. Uh, fire for the love of God, fire. I did a bit hold right, we're coming under fire now, but let's get the cavalry, please. Attack. Oh God, please attack. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Right. Move to engage. Right. If you can get that cannon there, then that's good. Okay. Cannon, for the love of God, please fire. Right, what are they doing? <laughs> Do something. Do something, please. Where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck are you going? What the fuck are you doing? Do something! Ah, for fuck's sake! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get them in line. I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know what they wanted to do here. Please, for the love of God, just do something. Limbering. Unlimber. Unlimber. There we go. Fick. Fick. We managed. Right, okay, we got it. We got it now. We got it. Right. Oh, God. Oh, the enemy's broken! Huzzah! <laughs> we actually did something! <laughs> Typical colonial. <laughs> right, how are they doing here? They've not even taken that many freaking casualties. Holy shit. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, we might be able to win this, actually. And win this big if we are really lucky here. 
And if the cavalry could get in there, I mean, this is really turned in our favour. Cavalry, please charge. I mean, you've got an order there, moving through enemy lines. Uh, I do have, importantly, a brigade moving here to the rear with cannon. Uh, we do have a second brigade march in here as well. But that's one brigade, that's Milroy chase off the field here, which is excellent. Uh, but at least we figured out that you need to actually actually have them under limber. So we actually do have cannon support then uh, shortly. They're firing now, so that's excellent news. We do have our artillery fire, artillery support. Right, okay, they're in melee. Right, that's good news. Right, we have our uh, infantry marching up here. Ideally, they can fire upon the cannon. But the issue is they're so very close to the cannon, it's very dangerous here. Um, I'd love to tell them to uh, charge if I could. Oh god, they might get broken by this. That's the only scary thing here. Oh, shit. Let's hope for the best. We do have a cavalry coming in here now. Let's hope this is enough uh, indecision to actually see them survive, but they're probably going to take a canister shot to the face. Yeah. Uh, cavalry's on the wrong side of the river, unfortunately. It looks like the enemy can't decide what to do. They are flanked. Okay. Right. Let's fire probably the enemy. Oh, don't take the cannonball to the face. It looks like it's good, though. Right, we are firing upon the cavalry, uh, the artillery. Island's board is taken. Burke's in contact. Oh, we are killing that cannon. Oh, God, please capture that cannon, please. Yeah, that unit is off there. It looks like they're pretty much in a similar position here now. It looks like we've won the battle with only uh, a small amount of our forces. We do have our cannon opening up, but we've actually figured out how to use our cannon. This actually went significantly better than could have been actually hoped for. Right, the cavalry's amongst them, I think. I don't know what the cavalry's doing. They're doing stuff. Okay. Alright, let's get them across. Yeah, then engaging, it seems. Engaged, okay, that's great news. Okay, fire upon the enemy here. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. I think we're winning. We do have our uh, brigade over here marching. We do have our other brigade here marching too. March to the sound of the guns. But yeah, breaking them here was actually really important. So it looks like uh, Island Fort was the big one here. Yep, that's being charged. Okay, I don't know if that's our own, our own cannon. We're not taking any casualties. I don't know how these guys are firing. Uh, yes, they're taking casualties. Thank God for that. Oh, attack column. Okay, uh, attack column then if that helps out. Oh yeah, we're chasing them all over the field here. That's not looking good for them. We do have Johnson over there. Yeah, that cannon really did come in handy there. Bad luck for you, Mont. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like we see the enemy here either. Right, it looks like they're being brought down here then. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, we broke them here at the fort. I was really, really looking for us. There we go. Uh, this was a smaller army. If it was a bigger army, yeah, it would have been buggered. And we're still in the first day, so let's hope they can actually break them. But it looks like a major victory here right now, so let's try and break them. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. Right, get them down here. What a crazy turn of events there. And I was hoping they could inflict casualties, but I didn't think we'd be able to absolutely crush them. He yeah, had just defended Ford's the way to go, indeed. <laughs> Alright, they sound like Indians at this point. Yeah, that cannon's pretty much broken there. Get the cannon uh, cavalry after them if we can. Uh, fire on the enemy, please. Okay. Right, have them send that way so we can actually engage the enemy if we can. Oh, so we do have the enemy cannon here. That's fine. So we do have our own units moving here. They'll be marching out shortly. Yeah, it's looking like it's over here. 
just need to try and really crush them as much as possible if we can. Uh, unit outflanks. Oh, is this our cannon here? What the hell do I have here, then? Jackson's detachment. I'm a little bit confused what's going on here, because this is just a cannon. Well, my cannon surely can't be there. Why do I have my own commander in here? Are they getting involved in this? I don't know what they're doing. They're doing whatever they want to do. Fine. Okay. Just do something. Oh, skirmish is right. Okay. Yeah, remember we draw before the 5th Corps arrive. I mean, that's the thing here, isn't it? Just remember that the 5th Corps could be here at any point. Uh, there's Jackson. Jackson's apparently like miles out of the way for some reason. Speed things up then. Yeah, it looks like they're leaving the area. I wish you could be sure that these orders would engage, but it looks like they're wiping out the cannon here, so that's not too bad. Oh, it's a detachment here. Uh, not too much longer now, Boebi. <laughs> I like that. I do have a War of Pacific turn to do after this, actually. So I think what we'll do then is... We could call it potentially a major victory then. I mean, I don't think we're going to be fine with the enemy. Units are spread out all over the field, so I think we'll call it about here. But if I can... Uh, ceasefire. Right. Okay, we'll issue that ceasefire then. Yeah. Uh, we have the Battle of Manassas. It looks like the enemy has withdrawn from the field as night has set in. So we lost 257 infantry, they lost 850. That's not bad at all, actually. It looks like the numbers were off there. So we didn't inflict major, major casualties, but we inflicted a good number here, like, a pretty good number. We broke them, which is a good side, and that breaks their morale. Let's look here, so, um, expect on the battlefield. Okay, I can't really, can't, can't see much. Yeah, losing those guns was a big deal there. Uh, ended with a Confederate minor victory. Still take it. And it could have been better, but at least we've learned a little bit more how to command here, which is good news. So we have the first... Is it the first battle of Manassas? I'm not entirely sure how many battles of Manassas ha there have been before this, but we'll call it our first battle of Manassas. Yeah, the big thing is get the hell out. <laughs> I did look across the river to our own side. Our own losses add up to 280. The enemy is believed to have lost a thousand men, apparently. The enemy's national morale's dropped by. I mean, if it's anywhere like that... Uh, do you gain the guns? I bloody well wish. Kendall Burks has become famous and inspiration for his men. That's great news. And that's it. Having those parapets there uh, really helped us out. I think it was a great, great choice uh, to have the second brigade move when we did. And even the uh, brigade marching around to flank, it was a risky maneuver. It could have ended badly, but I think it came in at the right time and, and really, it, it just caused utter confusion. The, ca uh, the cavalry coming from behind. Uh, was great. It wouldn't even benefit if they were given charging orders initially and charging cannon immediately. Whew. That went well. It was a bit weird. <laughs> I don't imagine it would be great to watch because it just looks so stupid, but as I said, we'll, we'll learn how to deploy and in, in the future our battles will be much more competent and ideally much more decisive. Yeah. Oh yeah, fifth guard center we would have to get the hell out. This is we could potentially have additional cores, but I think it was worthwhile moving to actually completely flank them. Okay, let's see. I'm so glad we had that. So, glorious victory at Manassas. The mounted department fleeing in panic. Support for the Yankee cause wavers. Correspondence from the uh, reports in the field, reducing the minimum. The private soldier consisted of one man. One hat, one jacket, one shirt, one pair of pants, one pair of drawers, one pair of shoes, one pair of socks. 
His baggage was one blanket, one rubber blanket. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing these devices. This is so fun to learn. So the Battle of Manassas was fought for four days between the Confederate... For four days? Between the Confederate Jackson's call of some 8,374 men. Uh, five guns? Okay, this is like... Uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay. But we went there. We won that. The Battle, of, uh, the Battle of Manassas has ended with the Mounted Department retreating in panic. My commander has earned a remarkable strategic victory with the enemy forced to give ground. The enemy has reported suffered casualties of 11 men. Uh, of, uh, <laughs> what? Is that how many men were killed? That's crazy. Uh, our casualties total 230 men with 30 killed, 28 missing, and the rest wounded. Uh, Morale is confident with the supply situation critical, so we don't have that much supply there. <laughs> I'm not too sure there. Not too sure. Right, let's pause the game here. Right. I don't know what we did here. How? So they've only got 10 guns, so we managed to destroy most of their guns there. So I think we're going to destroy them all, actually. But that's a shitload of guns. Okay, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> get out! Right, let's see. If I go to army management, maybe I can make it its own force and it can get the hell out under its own orders. That'd be nice. How you doing there, by the way, Karchus? Good to have you, my man. Right, Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Can I make you your own thing? No. Seems not. No, okay. Maybe I can? Or not. Okay. Oh, transfer. To your own command? Maybe? Hmm. Okay, no, I can't do that. Right. Um. Maybe they won't be as eager. Um. Hmm. Get across the river if you can. Just get the fuck out. Where would you even go? I mean, the issue is, it's like, if we lose this, we, we lose quite a lot here. I do have assets, and I can't really afford to lose much. I mean, this is the difficulty here. We have Army of Virginia here. Hill's Corps is having to move to deal with the irritation. Ah. <sighs> Difficulties, like, I don't have that much room to work with now. I don't have that much to work with right now. Uh, our position is becoming quite dangerous because of that. So we're going to have to hope that we can actually try to force them uh, to shift their, their men elsewhere. Difficulties, it, it seeds quite a chunk of the state there. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Don't crash. Uh, right. Oh, some things that are just still like the perks are still glowing there. Oh, thank God for that. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I can't move the mouse. <laughs> I can't move the mouse. Um, okay. I, I can't move my mouse in general. Uh, let me try and unplug my mouse. Has my mouse died? What the hell's going on with it? Oh, thank god. Okay. Mouse is alive. Okay, there we go. Right, so, Jackson's Army of Virginia. <laughs> thank god for that. Yeah, <laughs> the USB sounds a comfort. Yeah, that's a lot of men there. I think that is a withdrawal. And that's the issue without trying to slip. Hmm. I think we do need to retreat there. Is 
like retreat please all right they're moving now not too sure really what can do about that but they're they're moving their movement is good. Yeah, both would be bad. I think this is where we can actually save things then. Because we've actually done our right, actually. At least morale's up. Oh, uh, March 11th. Ah, oh, there we go. Major victory. Battle of Cold Harbor. Major victory. I'd love to be able to retake Alexandria. Hmm. So we'll take a quick strategic review then, and uh, we'll be in a good position to go in for the next... The next stream then. Okay. So they haven't... Have they finished that uh, depot? Oh yes, it's finished. Excellent. Yep, so we have things being stopped out. Oh, that's awesome there, Cabersa. I like that. That's really appreciated, my man. I have a very weird accent. <laughs> right, 12,000 men. I think we'd be in a good position to attack there. Um, supplies remarkably better now. At least it should be better. I can't say not been. Rail lines have been built, but not quickly. I don't know how quickly we can build rail lines. If indeed we can build rail lines at all, because we, uh, as the Confederacy, significantly lack in that capacity. To a degree. Well, I don't know about that, actually. I could be talking about my arse. I think we lack in the ability to create locomotives, but I don't know if we lack in the ability to create rails. Not too sure there. Okay. Let's see. Do we have the river squadron? What the hell is it? Well, at least I made it over here. There seems to be some sort of, like, weird issue that we keep having. Like, where these units are just, like, uh, removed? Hmm. Maybe I could have ships to just move directly into the Mississippi River Squadron. Not too sure. Ah. <sighs> Really not sure on that one, but that'll be the focus that we do uh, go for next time. So we have Union invasions and so at least yeah, okay, we have that working. Uh, we do have second call out here, which is getting ready to march across here. It could even be that we have the Army of East Tennessee potentially turned elsewhere. I could potentially have the Army of Tennessee actually moved into uh, North Air. But it's not great. It's not great either way, really. It's a difficult situation. And we'll go ahead and call about that. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will see you in the next stream, then, really. If you haven't joined us, please do consider following me here on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube really is awesome. It'd be really much appreciated. I'd love to try and get to 10,000 this year. That would be amazing. If you've really enjoyed this, potentially do consider becoming an AR. Twitch stream supporter, a Twitch subscriber, and that's the... I always get confused between Twitch and YouTube. Have you really appreciated my content? Perhaps become a patron backer. One dollar is amazing. Thank you for watching, my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just you, it's Kerb user. <laughs> I like that. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Goodbye for now.